Good morning, everybody. Got a whoop. I'm in Idaho Springs, Colorado. I'm eating salad for breakfast. Mostly because it's healthy, but I guess I kind of ruined it because I also have a Dr. Pepper. So I told myself once I live on the road, I'm gonna have so much stuff to do that I probably won't, you know, eat as much junk food, which I think is true so far since yesterday I ate oatmeal and a couple apples and that's all I ate all day. Even like most of the time when I'm hungry, I'm not thinking of salad, but I bought two bags of salad and that's what I'm having for breakfast of all things and like I even like most junk food just doesn't sound appetizing. I had a crazy day yesterday, like, so yesterday I drove up to Colorado. I drove all through Colorado yesterday. This was all yesterday. Drove up to Colorado. Well, I started off in Trinidad and I uh, couldn't find anything that interesting in Trinidad. I went to this lake, but it was kind of boring. I mean, the lake itself was boring. The mountains in the background kind of sold it, but there was nothing really that great about the lake itself. So after that, I was like, you know what? We're going straight to Denver. So I drove up and I didn't actually realize that Colorado City is before Denver. We got to Colorado City and I started thinking maybe I should go somewhere here. There were some interesting places, Garden of the Gods, and then there was Pikes Peak. So I was thinking maybe we could drive up Pikes Peak and camp there for the night. But it just, I wasn't really sure how well the Jeep would do driving up that altitude with the gears it has and I didn't really want to wear anything out. And then also it closed at six and I always, it was already two o'clock. It was an hour away, plus it would probably take another hour to get up. So I decided I'd wait. So I might go to Pikes Peak another day, but I decided to skip it. And Garden of the Gods just didn't really seem like what I was looking for. It's still, everything there still looked a lot like um, New Mexico, not the kind of Colorado I had in mind. Denver was just crazy. I got there and I'm like, this is, this is Chicago. This, this is not Colorado. Like it was so busy and crammed. Yep, so downtown Denver, Colorado. Big city, definitely not my cup of tea. I went like downtown to this like nature resort and there was like graffiti everywhere. And then there was like, I think somebody died or something. Cause there was police, like 20 police cars over here. It was definitely a crime scene for something. And then I like asked somebody about it and they started yelling at me for no reason. It's crazy stuff going on here. It's already like murders or something it's insane. Also, apparently this is supposed to be a nature area, but I think it's kind of boring. I asked a lady over there if she knew what happened with the police, and uh, I guess someone got shot. That lady's still yelling about something. And so I just kind of left, and they were still yelling. It was crazy. The whole thing was crazy. I have like these Donald Trump hands. It's huge. It's huge. It's crazy. We're never doing it again. Okay. After that, I drove to... Idaho Springs, which was about two hours away, and then the traffic was awful. Is that it? Well, I was trying to get to Idaho Springs, Colorado, because Denver was just craziness, but then, uh... Somebody got in an accident or something, and there was like, I saw the sirens on the side of the road, I had to pull over, all the suspension was loose, I need to check it again, I might need to be, get some Loctite and like type tighten everything down it was just crazy stuff I mean I made it all I was about to get to Idaho Springs when I decided to pull over because the Jeep felt like there was something wrong with it I didn't really take into consideration the altitude we were at really weighed down the Jeep the lack of oxygen made the Jeep feel like I lost like 50 horsepower it was awful I, the linkage on the Jeep was getting stuck in four-wheel drive and so because the shifters all messed up I need to take it to someone before I can put it back on because the bolt for the like bracket came off. It was just a whole spiel. It was a day. It was a very interesting day. But today I want to have another interesting day. So, oh, the sun's coming out, that's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna eat this like salad-y breakfast. And then there's a coffee shop actually. It opened at seven and it's about six something right now. I don't know what time it is really. Kai woke me up. Frothy Cup Coffee Shop down here in uh, Idaho Springs, Colorado. Really nice little homey little place. I really liked it. And they have dine-in. They have free Wi-Fi, but my computer wouldn't connect. I was trying to finish a video and I was gonna stay longer, but uh, I have a stinky puppy. Stinky 
pop your head. You did a good job. Okay, keys. Get back. Good boy. Good boy. All right, get back. This is an awesome little town, though. Like, you got all these, it's like downtown. And then the sky is beautiful. I don't know if that's because it's here or just because the sky is beautiful. But then you have like the mountains in the background. But the scenery is like amazing. Um, okay, come on. So we're actually going to go to, I forgot what it's called. Come on, Kai. St. Mary's. St. Mary's, um, St. Mary's Glacier. That's what it's called. St. Mary's Glacier. Um, some of the people here at the cafe actually were telling me about it and apparently right now there's snow there. Kai's never seen snow and I love snow. We're gonna go see snow. One way or another Kai, we're gonna go see snow. I love snow. Mm -hmm.